Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here carrying on our jungle expedition, gathering up all sorts of precious tiny little egg cargo to take back to the zoo so that we can celebrate the wonders of the natural world. And um, I just had the leaf boots scared off me last night because I was like, hey cool, abandoned temple in the jungle. This will be a great place to go ahead and set up for sleeping for the night. I mean, look, it's got a beautiful white tiger. It's got all sorts of butterflies and birds flying around it. And then do you know what happened? A zombie growled right in my ear just as I closed my eyes to go to sleep. So clearly this is an active, uh, very active temple. And I have to admit that it definitely made me very curious, especially because it's shaped like this. It's literally sitting on top of, of like this huge ravine. It's just such an interesting way to set your temples up. Like where was the zombie coming from? From under there or in here? I don't have what it takes to like, I have what it takes is storage room <laughs> and I have nigh no storage room. I guess I could get rid of the wasabi stems if I, well, there goes my wasabi. All right, Moon Moon Queen, if you don't mind. But I'm just so curious. I really flunked the last temple. So could I possibly figure out how to open up this one? All right, let's see. Moon Moon Queen, thank you. I know I need to do an expedition Twilight Forest because she has been so helpful, you guys. Oh, I actually have a chest here. <gasps> That's so cool. It literally just has mint leaves and a- I'm peeking caramba. The heck? Was that a creeper? I guess it didn't like my wasabi. <laughs> Well, you know what? He can keep his his temple. I'm so glad I took a little glance because this place clearly has been raided before and nothing but mint leaves and an empty bottle of um, apple juice has been left behind. But all right. Well, I'm kind of glad I poked that so that I wasn't deeply disappointed in the future. But all right, my friends, we have plenty of eggs now. I mean, we've got a lot of plants. We've got so many eggs. We thankfully have been able to find uh, quite an abundance of toucan eggs, actually. Was really hard. We found a phoenix egg, not gonna lie. It was kind of hard to find the toucan egg. But now that we have enough of them, what I want to do now, oh, and I definitely want to check out the cute little jungle island over there. I kind of want to zigzag across the jungle just a teeny bit, or at least kind of scope out the parameter of the jungle to see how big it is. And then we're going to start flying home. Uh, so let's focus on that today. What do you think, Sunflower? Probably we should go ahead and search the exterior. We can leave the interior exploration for another day. Oh, look, there's some of Sunflower's people. Chocobos. Well, I guess they're some of Sunflower's flock. Well, they're not really like her flock flock. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this is an interesting little biome. Wow, it's like a big, giant, beautiful herb garden. Sunflower, what do you think of this? This is an orchard biome. <gasps> we started zoo crafting in an orchard biome. Oh, and we have two ostrich eggs. Why not? Oh, and they look so different from how we first started zoo crafting, doesn't it? Oh, this is really pretty. We might have to do something about this in the future. Uh, oh gosh, and it's surrounded, oh, by the ostrich. <laughs> and a little baby boar, look at all of that. And a cat. Ah, the horse who's in desperate need of help. Okay, okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, you gotta be careful, buddy. That could be very dangerous. I feel better having helped him. I don't know if he'll end up back in there again, but at least he'll that shock will wear off and at least he'll be okay now. Whew, I hope he'll be okay. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Boars are literally falling from the sky. Careful. I know. I'll be careful, Sunflower. I just really love the look of whatever's going on over here. I love how beautiful ravines can be. Careful there, chicken. Uh, there you go, Sunflower. Now you don't need to worry about me falling to my doom. It looks like it's a little bit safe. 
Yeah, look at that! A double waterfall ravine! Oh no, it was not safe for a little boar who fell, apparently. Oh, you guys gotta be careful! Oh, this is so pretty! I can't wait to do some mining expeditions at some point in the future. It's been a long time since we've mined. Alright, let's check the map to see how we're doing on our outline. This is a huge jungle! Okay, so there's an orchard on the edges. It's a pity we haven't found any, like, villages. I would be very happy if I could stumble on a village or two. Uh, and last time I said I'd be very happy if we could set up like an archaeology place. We actually found an archaeologist. So maybe, oh that's definitely an int who has grown himself a little little temple of his own with some beautiful, beautiful birchwood saplings. Alright. So edge of jungle, edge of jungle. Again, very interesting that the jungle doesn't have any of Pavo's beautiful exotic birds, but they a lot of their eggs. Oh, what's happening over there? Oh dear! Oh my! I can't even- oh jeez! I've lost that horse! I can't even see where he was! I just- oh! oh my gosh! Oh, it's been so long! Wow! I don't even know whose place I just stumbled on! <laughs> oh my goodness me! Nops! Oh goodness! Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think this is definitely, definitely under construction. But that is really cool. We found somebody's little special build project over here. They're certainly working on something that I want to give them plenty of space for. Uh, but wow, so we are finding like kind of the, the old builds and the old ruins from a long time ago of other zoo crafters too, which is very exciting. I don't even know whose that is or if they're even still around, but that's so cool. That was in a little shrub land and we still have more jungle. This is amazing. Let's carry on. Whoa. I was really hoping that was a village, but it's even more exciting to see my friend's old works. Uh, let's see, so there's a lot of mushrooms down there that I approve of. And the way they've grown, it makes me think that this area has been a teeny bit explored. Look at how the jungle is just kind of mixed in over here. And it's still going! What? What? Oh my gosh, did you guys see? Oh my gosh! There's an abandoned boat over here! And there's just like this lava waterfall over here. Ah! And it's kind of catching everything on fire! That's not good! Hang in there, sunflower! Um, I need water, actually, in a bucket, and I- Oh dear, I don't have any water in a bucket. Oh, This is gonna be a little bit of a headache. A little bit of a headache. Sunflower! Okay. We've gotta sleep so that we don't get attacked by anything, my dear. There's a giant hole in the ground right there. Okay, adventuring is definitely an exciting, exciting expedition. Let's go ahead and sleep. If I don't stop that fire, it could potentially burn down the entire forest, uh, which is just a risk when you have servers, sunflowers, so you gotta be careful. Uh, let's go see if I can stop it at the source, though. With Sunflower's help, I should be able to just carefully... Okay, that's one way of doing it. Oh, there we go. I actually captured the lava! <laughs> that's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, but... Hang in there, Sunflower. Well, let's go over to the bigger water spot. But no joke, there's always a concern... Oh, that's a bird tree, alright. Oh, and it's a little puppy grave! What?! There we go. But there is always a concern when you have a server that if you don't kind of put out those fires, you could potentially end up with like the whole forest burning down, but it looks like we saved the forest. Huzzah! And there's actually an abandoned boat over there. What the heck? Oh, and my gear really needs some new, definitely needs some new leaves pretty soon. And we finally found some peacocks! You guys exist here! Oh, I'm so happy! There's even little baby fawn in the distance and bunnies. Oh, this is so thrilling. Look at this! 
It's an abandoned ship. How old is this to be here? If you think about it, it's got books that we could probably write about in it. Look at this. Apparently it's got snakes in here. I heard a snake hiss just a second ago. Uh, I don't really want to explore it too much right now. What it usually has in it is like fossil and archaeology bits and bobs. But this would be a really fun location just to kind of have like a little, hello cow, like a little research site too, which is clearly all I can think about some days. And still the jungle goes on. Oh, all right, let's see. Well, yeah, we've gone around. Now we found a boat. We're still exploring the edge of the jungle, but I think we're actually maybe getting close to the edges of it now. So let's carry on, Sunflower. I know, this has been amazing, but I am a little bit ready to go home and hatch these toucan eggs too. Another pelican egg, don't mind if I do. And we have so many other eggs to take care of now as well. A lot of abundant wildlife over there. And I think this marks the northern edge of the jungle biome. Still the biggest that I have ever seen. And we must continue on to see how it goes down on its western flank. <gasps> Look at this beautiful ravine right next to this gigantic, oh my gosh, this gigantic lake. How amazing is that? Just one little shift of the rocks and all of that water <gasps> with fish. Oh, those are actually raccoons, not fish. I swore they were catfish, but they're actually raccoons. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. More lava over there. Let's carefully come down. Oh yeah, you can see where the chunks had a little bit of a hiccup here. I actually think this is kind of pretty. I like to imagine that like there was some sort of really big cataclysmic event, kind of like you have the mountains in China where they sort of just stick straight up. That's sort of what I picture when I see chunks like that. So, oh, and what a cute little island. It even has a, a, a jungle cat, not the kind of ocelot jungle cat that people are used to, but a jungle cat nonetheless. Let's wiggle down here. Just do a couple nest checks just to be sure. Vulture egg, we have some of those. <gasps> A Bogo Toucan egg nest? Yes! Oh my gosh! Wow! This was not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Now we have five whole toucans that we can take home. I told you guys we toucan do this. Huh? Huh? Oh my goodness. All right, what about in this one? Just eggshells. All right. Wow. Wow, we're gonna take such good care of all of these eggs, I promise. All right, so let's see. Cute little jungle island. Following along the western perimeter. I love the colors of those poppies and those beautiful parrot beaks together. Uh, oh! Oh, there's a whole bunch of little crabs here! <gasps> I don't even know if I've ever seen the crabs! Oh my gosh! Like, native in our world. Hello, crab beach! This is so, this, 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 you might say, kind of pinches my sense of adventure. Ho ho! Crab lit beach. There we go. Because there's only a little, a few of them and they're just little wee crabs. But that's so cool! Now I know we can come back over here and find some little crabs when I have room to collect them and take them home. Uh, also, yeah, I actually find like the colliding mix of biomes to be kind of pretty in an interesting way because it's like boom you've got oh that was a little loud sorry you've got just like this mix of of some sort of massive geological event that possibly occurred uh, also hang on sunflower owl egg we're okay got a lot of owl eggs so yeah the edge of the jungle over here and sunflower is kind of jumping around as we're continuing to explore new lands that have been untouched I actually think that's very pretty. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I really think that's pretty because you also get a little bit of a glimpse at the like strata of the biome. And it makes it very easy to figure out if there's actually a tunnel that's worth digging in, which I appreciate. All right, so let's see. We'll check the map in just a second because we are starting to go. Yeah, we're going 
south at a pretty good clip now. There's several little jungle islands. There's a big body of water up here, which is maybe how the boat got there, which is an interesting theory. Um, let's carry on down here. But I think we can make the full loop today, Sunflower. It depends on if we find anything like so utterly stunning that I absolutely have to turn this, this chocobo around. <laughs> but I think we're okay. And I, I'm actually very content with uh, how many toucan, or yeah, how many toucan eggs we have. So I'm not too terribly inclined. I mean, come on, this little glen of eggs is just too tempting though. All right, hang on. <gasps> blue jay eggs? I don't think I have blue jay eggs yet and they mean a lot to me because blue jays kind of represent chips in my life for, for special reasons. Oh gosh, this is chips as in, not like chips as in potato chips, but chips as in the love of my life chips. Uh, okay, Amber Shard, you can stay here because I can always, no, please, I can always dig up more of you. I understand that you want to come with me, but it is not meant to be. Do I have a spot for, wait a second. I think this fishbone cactus. No, it is not that one. <laughs> Fooey. And actually, I don't think I, is that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, come here. Appetite. Wonderful. Oh, I got two of them from that. Oh, and there's a zombie who wants to come eat me while I'm searching for eggs. How about nobody? Where are you even going to try to emerge from? Who knows? Oh, and swimming through these butterflies. More ostrich eggs. <laughs> oh, we've got, like, normally the male ostrich will be the one to protect the nest and to protect all of his offspring. Ouch, sorry, sunflower. I know, I know, we do need to go home. Oh, wow, that's really pretty, too. All right, let's follow along. I think we've hit the edge of the jungle on this side. There's another temple over here for future exploration. And then interesting. Oh, look at this. Well, interesting. We found some ants. Oh, no, sunflower. I just want to take a little peek. Okay, come on. We can land on that branch. There we go. More kingfisher eggs, huh? All right, we're going to have a good time with these birds. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, speaking of which, did you know birds have hollow? Yes, another blue jay egg. Hollow bones. Phew, but okay, guys. So let's review. I think... Oh, we can do this. We're gonna give it a little push, and I think we can actually swing around to the last of this gigantic jungle today, unless it spreads over there. No, that's normal forest. Okay, yeah, we need to make a little hop over here. That's pretty. And then I do believe that, yeah, here's the jungle again. We've got, oh, some of the special maple trees that are super hard to find. Yes, good to know where they are. There's just a tiny population of them there. And yeah, we're on, we're aligned. Ooh, ooh, that's like half jungle tree, half sacred sapling. That is definitely where I would make my home. Heck yes, right sunflower? And then it looks like the sacred saplings and the jungle biome meet right here, which means I think we have done the full loop. <gasps> Just then we did it! Okay, guys! Wow! That was amazing! We have now done a full loop for our jungle expedition. We have not zigzagged across the jungle. It definitely has a lot more to offer on the interior, but I am quite happy with having done a survey around the edges of the biggest biome I have ever seen in our world. It is full of secrets. It is full of, whoops, it is full of eggs. It is full of plants and our pockets are overflowing with all of those things. So we're gonna go ahead and start the flight home. Hopefully we will be able to get back, empty our pockets carefully, and then nurture these little toucans into a very, very happy location in our zoo <sighs> very soon. So all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like for Sunflower's wonderful flying. I'm sure she's ready to go see Aster Seed again. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, you know what to do. But most importantly, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.